What's up, everyone? It's episode number 79 of the Disney Infinity and Beyond podcast presented by DisneyKingdom.com with me, Roger, here in a stormy UK and Abe there in a rainy California. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the one day of the year it rains in California. Uh, welcome everyone to another episode of the podcast. On this week's show, we are going to be discussing um, the initial kind of dates coming up for Marvel at Battleground figures and Zootopia. We're going to be talking a little bit more about those Zootopia figures. We're going to talk about that Launch Bay toy box um, I put up on earlier, and also we're going to um, talk about the Disney Infinity Awards. So, Abe, you had a good week. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I had a pretty good week actually. Uh, everything's been yeah. good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, before we get into anything, I'm just going to do a little bit of um, housekeeping because yesterday I launched a new competition or giveaway um, over on DisKingdom.com where I we are giving away a fifty dollar DisneyStore.com uh, gift voucher this week because it's basically been about a, just over it's a year this week that we launched DisKingdom.com from what we originally would known at the time as Vinomation Kingdom. So we launched it. So we're going to give that one away. So if you want to get hold of that one, you'll find all the information on the website. Perfectly good timing for the new Marvel Battlegrounds playsets pre-order. So if you do win it, that'll be a perfect way of getting hold of that figure. Good thing that is with that voucher is that anyone can spend it on what you like. So that's the great thing about that one. So Abe, so let's jump into the news. So first off, I think we should um, just quickly just touch on the InfiniFan Awards, which um, voting ended yesterday and or over the weekend. So that's completely done. And the winners will be announced um, later this week by all the different um, websites involved, including us. So we'll be um, revealing the most anticipated figure and also the best toy box game disc. So what are you, are you excited for this award? Oh yeah, absolutely! I'm yes. so really stoked. I'm yes. I'm so happy that we have these awards. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's pretty cool. I, was, um, I think there was over there was a few, like six hundred or so people have taken part in the things, and it's kind of a cool thing. And there's going to be a special sneak um, kind of special thing happening at the end of the week regarding the awards. But let's jump into um, the main kind of news of the week, really. It's been a very, very quiet week for Disney Infinity. Almost like there was another Marvel video game come out this week that we'll be discussing in another episode of the podcast later this week. Um, Lego yeah. Avengers. Um, so, I'll let you actually talk about this one. It's the um, information that came out from GameStop. Um, wait. What am, I, what am I talking about? The release dates. For, for Infinity for, Figures? N yeah. Okay, because you just was, seriously <laughs> went from Lego <laughs> Avengers to GameStop. Let's talk about that. What are you talking about? All right, guys. So basically, it's early in the morning. Before, Give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> before Roger connected the dots, let me collect them for you. Uh, he's referring to a uh, nice little screen that was provided to, uh, to me by a good uh, friend of ours. Um, yeah, Twitter, uh, and looks like GameStop was the one who um, go ahead and gave us the release dates uh, for the new figures that are coming. I mean, it's it's funny because it's been what now almost two weeks since the leak, and yet Disney has not announced anything other than Battlegrounds. But anyways, every figure aside from Nick Wilde and Judy Hopps will be coming out um, March fifteenth. Um, Judy Hopps and Nick will be coming out March 1st, but everything else, uh, Ant-Man, um, Bl um, Black Panther, Vision, Battlegrounds, uh, the Power Disc Pack, and uh, Blue will all be coming out on the 15th. Um, mm -hmm. Then, obviously, like I said, Nick and Judy and their Power Disc Pack will be out on the 1st of March. Um Ironically, there was no additional figures, even though JB did say that there was more coming um, to keep us quiet from the whole female Marvel. Um, uh, yeah, so I, I don't, I don't know. That was maybe he's referring to maybe later on, but yeah. Uh, so GameStop says it's coming. Oh yeah, yeah I forgot him in too. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if there is a third and fourth wave of Marvel figures this year. Um, I wouldn't be at all surprised if we saw a second wave or a third wave of Marvel figures around the time Civil War actually hits the theaters and spread out that content a little bit. Um, but no, it's, it's it, 
it doesn't it doesn't really surprise me with the date because we have been officially told March 15th for Marvel Battleground. So Black Panther, Ant Man, and um, Vision made sense to come out on the same day because otherwise. Captain America would have been on his lonesome again with all the 2.0 figures. Um, release dates for Europe are a little bit all over the place. I think it was um, March 4th for the Zootopia figures, and then March 25th for all the Marvel stuff. So we've got a little bit longer to go um, over here for those release dates. Um, so yeah, it's it's still still a, still a few weeks away yet, but it's, it's I can't believe I just remember it is now actually February. So that's kind of it's only next month. So it's, we're a little bit closer. It's part of the first. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's next month they're out. But yeah, no, it's kind of it's kind of cool to get this kind of. I'm expecting we'll have some announcement officially on those figures for Marvel, either this week or next week. Now that the kind of Lego Avengers game is out. They kind of had to have their that moment, I think, where they had to kind of let them get their news out and get all the content out, because especially on the big retailers and or big um, websites and stuff, you know, there's only so much Marvel news that'll put up. Right. But yeah, I, I suspect it won't be it won't be that long now that Marvel Avengers is out and in stores. Um, but yeah, those release dates for those um, Zootopia stuff. Um, because it's the movies out on the fourth as well. Is it the same? It's just a couple of days before the movie comes out over there, isn't it? Um, I thought the movie was April. Maybe I don't remember correctly. Um, yeah, I think it's March fourth in the US. It's out in France. Um, the movie's out in France in in about two weeks, and it's actually out. Um, I think the figures are out in France. Um, a couple of, about two weeks before everywhere else, about the fifteenth or so of um, February. And off. The top oh of yeah, March fourth. Um, Sorry. Yeah, so though it's called it's called Zootropolis, Zootropolis over here in you in Europe. Yes, because other zoos are named Zootopia, so yes, we can't associate yes. animals yeah, to another there's zoo. A zoo. There's a zoo in Denmark which has the name, so that's why we have to call it Zootropolis, which I think was the original title of the movie anyway, wasn't it? I think back you said about the D twenty three Expo, you said about that years ago. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm excited for this movie, so. <laughs> Yeah. Um, also, yeah. 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 Go ahead. I was gonna say it's it's kind of one of those ones. I think it's gonna creep up on me. I'm I'm not blown away with it yet, but I'm on, I want. It's definitely something I'm gonna go see when it comes out and stuff. It should be should be pretty exciting. I think it's gonna be just like um, Inside Out. You know, um, nobody saw the movie and they were like, "Oh, all these figures are coming. Uh, wow, wow, wow. Why isn't other Disney yeah. coming?" Then Inside Out comes out like, "Oh my God, I love them. Why don't we have Bing Bong?" You know, it's like it's crazy. So. Yeah, I always, I always find it funny. I think it's like whenever Disney do this, whenever they announce an, a new figure for so it's brand new, and they get half the people, "Where's my own characters too? I want them. I don't want these new ones. I don't know what they are. Like you don't know what they are yet. You what this this is this is what they should. This is what the whole game is about. And having, I love the fact that there's you know you're gonna have these characters from that thing straight away. You know. I mean, I still think the good dinosaur could have been handled a little bit better, but you know, when we had you know those Star Wars Force Awakens characters in our hands the same day or the day after we saw the movie, I mean, that was that was pretty epic. So I'm I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, who knows? We'll see. We'll see as Utopia come out, then everybody's gonna be crazy about these two figures, and they're gonna be like, "Oh, why don't we have other figures? What's going on?" So, we'll but also. See I mean, also this um, week as well, Disney did a, like a special thing on Snapchat um, where they were talking with the developers or the directors of the movie. I think doing some stuff for some Toy Box TV episodes. Um, and they showed off these pictures. I think it was like the first time we've actually seen the characters, like not just their proper images. No, yeah, absolutely. They had some really cool art artwork um, and uh, concept. I, uh, you can see also like the landscape, uh, which... Which kind of looks identical to that um, that sky that I saw um, yeah. inside the game already. So you guys can check yeah. out that video. But um, but yeah, no, it, it looks cool. Uh, the concept looks great. I'm actually really stoked for the uh, Nick Wilde figure. He looks really cool. Hmm. Um, Judy Hopps looks awesome too. But there's something about that Nick Wilde figure that looks He's really kind awesome. Of got that there. It's, I'm, sorry, I'm still trying to get my I'm still trying to get my head around Snapchat at the minute, so I'm still. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, yeah, I, re <laughs> I really use Snapchat. It's <laughs> it's an it's an it's an odd application, isn't it? I just I'm just thinking it just 
It's like I was read. I was like, you, when you're having to read an article on how to use it, and then go, it goes, oh, we have to be shown it. Well, that's not very intuitive. It's like, oh yeah, I don't, I don't understand the whole how it's seeing a, a picture for ten seconds and never been. I'm I'm an old man. I need longer. <laughs> see, I, I I don't care to you know to use Snapchat. I would rather see the video of you trying to use Snapchat. That would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you're trying to use a third-party app to try and upload videos and uh, upload pictures. But anyway, that's just me being old. Right. Um, also this week, I um, managed to get hold of the Star Wars Launch Bay um, special web code. Now, this this I managed to get hold of this one through, um, I remember, on um, the Reddit group. Um, basically, they said months and months ago that there was going to be a special kind of content available for the... Star Wars launch bays at Walt Disney World and Disney and um, Disneyland's um, trying to get it all up. Walt Disney World's Hollywood Studios and Disneyland's uh, launch bays, and we weren't too sure how they were going. Was it going to be like a magic band where there was something physical? But now it's actually just a web code that you go onto the website, you pop the web code in, and it unlocks the content on your consoles, so you can get in. A bit like when you go into the special area and you get in like a special uh, menu, and you get this access to this toy box. It did make me wonder if this kind of thing of, and you can see the video up on the YouTube channel, you can kind of, I can see this being used a lot more in the future. I mean, you, you had it, managed to get a hold of that code luckily as well. Yeah, no, I honestly think this is definitely uh, a great step in the right direction for this game. I mean, because, um, you know, if they're able to lock up exclusive content via codes now too, I mean, what's to stop them for doing that from, um, you know, bigger events like, D23 in the future, or even the small little private events. Um, I mean, and just something simple as a toy box, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, uh, m maybe they might even start uh, issuing exclusive toy box only toys via codes, you know what I mean? It's just, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's cool. I definitely like the fact that they're able to do that. It definitely, for me, it was more about the fact of it, um, what the options could bring for long term use. Because also, this kind of idea of um, you could have a web code in a packet to unlock content that doesn't even need to be like physically purchased. You can just mm -hmm. buy the buy a powerless pack, but you just unlock those options with a web code because they've obviously got the technology built in now to kind of connect it to your console versions, which I mm -hmm. thought was rather cool. And also getting away from having. You know, something physical that they need to, to rely on. You know, it's like I said, uh, I, mean, I mentioned to you before, was at E3 or D23 or San Diego Comic Con, you know, here's a free toy box that only you can access with this code as a little publicity stunt. And it's not really going to cost them much more than printing the cards. Um, yeah. It's a lot cheaper than um, maybe making something physical to put them on with a, U with a chip on and all the rest of it. I think that the long-term effects of this code thing could really shake things up because we know the web code stuff does stuff. That was always PC and app. Now this is affecting your console version because at first I thought, well, hold on, how, is this going to work? And yep, PlayStation 4, there it was, linked to my um, Disney ID. Yeah, I mean, it's great that certain things do connect. I mean, uh, I do see the, the uh, benefits of having a Disney ID Although it still has its kinks, it, mm -hmm. you know, a bunch of bugs. I mean, not a lot of things transfer over. So, I mean, as long as that these codes work and they give you access uh, on all peripherals for this toy box, then great. But um, other than that, I mean, they still have a few things to figure yes. out. Like, yeah. like uh, you know, you look at your profile on the website and it doesn't match what you have on your console. So, yeah. Now, I actually, I remember like Disney Infinity 1.0 where you're – you know, you used to log into your account, and you used to see at the of uh, the level of like your characters, and it used to like transfer the data back up. So, you, like now, it just even just barely even shows if you've got them, got them or not got them. Before, they used to have like a breakdown of each character, which I thought was cool. Um, but yeah, I think this is something they're going to be adding a lot more to. Um, and I think also it gets away from this whole like magic band side of things of having to have something physical. And it's it's just, like I said, it's a nice, cheap, easy giveaway. Absolutely. You know, and also it's that thing as well of like, oh, you know, they can just start doing mail. Or, I mean, in some ways, I mean, if they're doing like a promotion through like, oh, we'll send you a free code or something or through the, you know, through like the, the Toy Box TV lives, you know, when they start up again, when there's launch stuff going on, oh, here's a special code that we're only giving to 10 people, that kind of thing, just to kind of, you know, hype something up. 
No, yeah, that's true. No, it's definitely definitely an interesting thing. Um, like I said, you can find out. I know a lot of people are sort of asking about the. Let's be honest. It's it's a toy box. There's nothing amazing there that you will have never seen before or won't do. Toy box itself was pretty simple. Three different zones. You know, about ten minutes of play. Um, but I think I think everyone just loves the word exclusive. If they just put the toy box up on its own, no one would have even paid any attention to it. No, I agree. I mean, if if there was a toy being given out, like a, a digital toy for the toy box, that was something simple like a weird looking tree. Yeah. And and Disney said it's exclusive. <laughs> you can only get it at this movie screening at this time. People would go bonkers for it. They would want to go get it. So I need that tree. <laughs> <laughs> so no. So it's definitely definitely an interesting thing to do um, in the future with that on there. Um, but that um, can you think of any other news this week? Because it's been a bit of a light news week. Uh, that's, I think that is some of the news. Um, the fact that yet there's still silence after the leak, there's still silence of all the figures that we know of. They haven't mm. said anything. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, in other news, uh, Marvel Avengers came out so for Lego <laughs> and Battlefront got a nice little update and we got some information <laughs> regarding the new, uh, the first, uh, digital content for the season pass holders. Yes. Disney Infinity. Not so much. <laughs> well, this is, well, we're going to be doing some um, other podcast episodes later this week, and um, you'll find up on the website um, about the all the new video game stuff, including Star Wars Battlefront and um, Lego Avengers. So be sure to check onto the website and onto our YouTube channel for that. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much going to wrap up this week's show. Um, kind of an odd one, because I think we're right in that zone of not really knowing too much about this in the future. Um, if you haven't already done so, um, remember to check out um, thiskingdom.com. Remember to check out um, Patreon as well. Um, members there get access to some of the podcast episodes a little bit earlier. I actually spoke to our main um, sponsor, Ethan, this week, and we had a full-on discussion about Magic Band, which he runs a website about. Um, so you'll find the, um, the video and the podcast up on the site as well. Um, again, you can find us on Twitter and Facebook. And just a quick reminder again about that um, giveaway we're giving for a $50 DisneyStore.com online gift certificate. Be sure to check that out and enter on there as well. So I think that pretty much wraps up this week's show, Abe. Yep. Nice, short, and sweet. <laughs> Always going, he's on, on quiet. <laughs> well, he's still doing it. He's still, uh, unfortunately, you see, he keeps, he's muted his mouth, his mouthpiece, and he doesn't know. All there right, you go. There. Happy. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was hoping you guys would actually be able to read uh, my lips, but okay. No, I was going to say, um, no, yeah, definitely short and sweet week. Um, weird still. Um, we got to come up with topics. So anybody, <laughs> anybody out there, <laughs> go ahead and send us some comments, uh, what you think. I do want to send out a little shout out to those uh, who are in the live chat, uh, who are with us, Swifty Guy 12 Aiden Spur, and also, I'm missing one. Oh, there we go. Natty Vaughn. So um, thanks, guys, for being on the chat with us. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for more. Yep. And we should see you guys in a later episode. Laters. Later, guys.